hello friends welcome to vlogmas day two today is sunday december 2nd excuse me if my brain is a little bit gone i woke up this morning and i basically got kicked in the gut by my monthly visitor this morning which was you know wonderful and wouldn't have been the world's worst thing if i didn't have to get up and do the church thing again today and long story short today was a struggle not just for me but for pretty much everybody in that building at eight o'clock this morning which is totally fine days like that happen it's gloomy as all get out outside energy is so low my husband is actually in the bedroom taking a 20 minute nap because his energy is also just none none no energy and so i've been feeling like crap all morning today and it's actually afternoon now what time is it it's 107 p.m i was up at 6 30 this morning doing the get ready thing then i had to do the church thing got there at eight o'clock and we just got home not that long ago and i made lunch because i'm ravenously hungry so i will go ahead and show you what i have for lunch it's over there but i filmed a little clip for you all right, here's the lunch that I have put together for today. Today's focus for me is going to be on um, mindful eating and tracking everything I eat, but not necessarily worrying about the points values of what I eat. So that being said, what I have here are a serving of Triscuits, which is three points plus. I have two ounces of cheese, which is like full fat, legit cheddar cheese, which is six points plus. So that puts me at nine already. This is one point of turkey meat, which is 10. And then I have three points of Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's creamy tomato soup, which is so good, guys, so good. And I'm in need of the comfort food. So that's three points. And then I have one point of shredded cheese on top of that. So that's four. So total, we have four plus six is 10, 11, 12, 13 14 there are 14 points plus on this plate and you know what it's going to taste so good and make me feel so much better that it doesn't matter so i'm gonna sit and eat that as i mentioned i'm not quite as concerned about the values of my points today as long as i'm eating mindfully and not just eating when i'm not hungry because i have found recently that when it is that time of month i eat a lot more because i'm actually hungry all the time so as long as i'm making decent choices it, i'm just going to try and fuel myself to keep myself satisfied to get my body out of this funk because oh my goodness the funk is real so real and so hard today life is hard today there's a solid chance that today's vlogmas vlog is how to have a nice lazy sunday afternoon and evening because that might just be what we do today but i have noticed regardless of if i'm on any sort of hormonal birth control or whatever which for those of you that know or don't know i'm currently not on anything i had my iud removed everything is running naturally for the first time in a decade but one thing that has remained constant is the cycles happen every month right every three or four months you get a partic you i get a particularly bad month and it's just worse than the others hormones are harder the cramps are harder everything is harder and that's this month for me so apparently that is going to remain consistent no matter what state i'm in um but yeah so that's that's what's going on this month and today so it's a rough day it is a rough rough day the brain is not here it is what it is this is life this is real life i have my christmas tree turned on i have some delicious food that i'm about to eat um that like i said is 14 points on my plate but you know what it's going to be so good and it's rich in like fat and protein so it's going to hopefully help settle me and make me feel a little bit more normal because i haven't felt normal all day but church is done it was a success the singing was a success I got to socialize with some of our friends that were at church and now it's quiet and I'm going to enjoy it. All right, friends, it's time for Advent Calendar Day 2 because it is, in fact, December 2nd. So here is the two on my Disney Princess sock calendar that I'm not going to be able to open. Hold on. So I couldn't <laughs> poke a hole in it, so I reached underneath and grabbed it. So here are the socks. Oh, seriously, they have a thing on them, too? For heaven's sake. Well... That might be the manliest looking Ariel I've ever seen, but it's supposed to be Ariel. Gracie, come on, man. Now we gotta find day two. Oh, day two's right up here. 
That wasn't too hard. So day two of the David's Tea Advent Calendar is cinnamon rooibos chai tea. And again, there's two servings in here. So now I've got some chai tea to have too. I think today I'm actually gonna have the candy cane tea that I never drank yesterday. But that's the tea advent calendar thing. And then this is what I want right now. I came in here because I was like, oh, I need a little something sweet after my lunch. Where is the two? There it is. Oh no, it's fallen down. Here is our little chocolate guy from the Aldi advent calendar. And it is a mascarpone truffle. I'm not sure what mascarpone is supposed to taste like, but that's actually really good. I'll take it. So, my husband had the best time making fun of the jasmine socks yesterday that I want to hand him today's socks. So they're Ariel with bed head. <laughs> well, that's supposed to be the scene that where like Prince Eric sees her and she just got out of the water or something like that. This is like super scandalous. <laughs> well, <laughs> she's half naked. My, <laughs> she's a mermaid. <laughs> Someone didn't tell her to put some clothes on. What message are we sending to little girls? <laughs> Okay, so my reaction was that must be the manliest Ariel I've ever seen. And all you're focused on is the fact that she's naked. Ladies and gentlemen, the difference between men and women. Well, it was her <laughs> hair. Look, it's all like, if, I mean, if you didn't see the long hair here, she's, that's why she looks like a man. Yeah, I just feel like her jaw is too, too, I don't know. No, I think the Jasmine was far worse. Jasmine was worse. Okay, so we're improving. Very good. Some people call all right. Awesome. Lazy day. We're starting Manifest. We are nine episodes behind. I have my David's tea. I love him. And once about a time. See how he is not being Prince Charming. Here we go. Okay, so episode one is down. I'm intrigued. I I would... Yeah, I mean, we're about to start the second episode, so yeah. we're apparently nine episodes behind, but um, for those of you that don't know, Manifest is that show where the, with the airplane that randomly disappeared, and it has the guy from Once Upon a Time who played Prince Charming in it, which is one of the things that piqued my interest just upon seeing the advertisement. Which and is great, which is absolutely great. She just wants to watch it for another guy. Fantastic. Is Prince Charming. He's super sweet. Um, let me know if you've watched Once Upon a Time. And if you have watched Once Upon a Time, did you finish it or did you give up on it? We never did finish it, did we? No. <laughs> we stopped halfway through the last through season. Through the new season, yeah. We stopped because we... For those of you who don't know, without any spoilers, they did a bit of a reset in the final season and apparently it didn't work because we, we stopped. Did we figure out it was the final season? Like, are they done? Thanks. I thought they canceled it, but I'm not actually sure. I'm but not yeah, actually sure. so far, decent. Well, you could come into the frame. That'd be <laughs> helpful to me. Because I don't have to keep... Hey, there he is! You look, look so much that. taller than me. Yeah, I know. I'm short. Uh, halfway decent. Uh, or, uh, I'd say more than, more than halfway. More than halfway decent. It was, it was very intriguing. intriguing. Yes. yes, that's the exact word I was going to use. And uh, uh, I like that it has... A church theme. I hope that they keep so, that yeah. without violating that. Yeah, I noticed that too. So the last scene had them in a church and reading the Bible. And this Bible verse was the theme of the whole first episode. Yeah. And they're talking about a higher power being the thing. This could get real interesting on several levels. Yeah, we'll see where they go Real with interesting. So, episode two. Here we go. This is Mommy's Happy Place. I'll take it when I can get it. Got a briber though with this. Means powder days and upright. What do you think, Gracie? Are you gonna learn how to be a cuddle bug? A history that's not, not likely. Millennia. Not likely. Multitasker over there. What are you playing? Zelda. Still? Hey, I'll get new games for Christmas. It's the game that never ends, I swear. I have to go track down all these extras. Which you do via Google. True. 
<laughs> All right, my friends. Well, since today has been a rather boring, boring Sunday, I have decided that it is going to be my first day of giveaways. As I mentioned in an earlier video, I'm going to be having a bunch of different giveaways this month, and today is going to be the first one, and it is this set right here. So it is a two-part gift set, if you will. So the first piece is actually something I have had to give away to, to you guys for I kid you not, at least two years, I think. And it is this book, Secrets of a Former Fat Girl by Lisa Delaney. And when I went to Fit Blog in last, which was when I lived in North Carolina, so okay, it actually might have been three years ago, um, I saw she was one of the keynote speakers at the conference, and she was giving away copies of her book because it was a fitness conference, which was really, really cool. And I've read it, and it's actually very well done. It's not like diehard oh, eat 1,200 calories, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's legit secrets of being a, quote, former fat girl, meaning how to get your act together and figure out how to make this healthy living thing a lifestyle. So in total, I have two of these sets, and I'm going to give them both away in this video. So there's two of these books. So you'll get this book, and then you will be getting the Erin Condren Wellness Bundle. You guys will notice that in these giveaways, there's a lot of EC stuff, and that is because because I have the credit to purchase it and I also think it's really really good fun stuff that will help you get organized and be motivated to stay organized so in this little wellness bundle you get a couple of things the first thing you get is this little set of colorful dual tip markers the dual tip markers are my favorite markers I use them in all of my journaling all of my planning they're just really great high quality markers they have a thicker end and then a fine tip end so you get those you get a two pack of stickers so one page is this pack of stickers and then the other page which I'm not going to show you in the actual thing but I believe it's this page of stickers here that come in the wellness bundle or in the wellness tracker so just super fun stickers so those are in there and then right behind here there are two other things and the other things are this little pad that's a habit tracker, which I think is so great, especially if you're wanting to get your habits in check for the new year. You'll be able to write down your habits and then check them off as you go. And if you don't have this many habits for a week, say you only have a couple, draw a line, and then you can do the next week and draw a line, and it's fine. And so this will last you a really, really long time. So this is also in this packet here. And then the last thing in this packet is actually the official EC wellness log. And what it is, is basically a different way to do paper tracking. So I, this is actually my personal one that I'm actually starting to use today. And um, so every day you'll have an activity log. You'll be able to log your water, your steps, and how many hours you slept. And that happens all week. And then you just write down your meals here. And all it is is a way to keep yourself in check no problem, if, especially if you're a paper tracker, this will work great as an alternate to using the online trackers. And then every month, it gives you a check-in. So you initially will have a page like this, which I already filled out, which is why I didn't show it to you. But every month, you'll be able to write down the date, your weight, and retake your measurements, and kind of reformulate your goals and check out plan, um, plan things for the next month. And then the next page, you do it all again. And this goes on for, I think, three or four months. This is what it is. So that is what is in this packet. You get the wellness, the wellness journal, the wellness log, the habit tracker, the extra set of stickers, the markers, and then I am throwing in secrets of a former fat girl. So this, these two I, packets of items are the things that will actually show up to your door. So now I'm sure you're wondering how to enter. All right, so if you haven't figured it out, it's Monday morning, which is when I'm finishing this. So ignore this hot mess. I haven't gotten my crap together yet. But just so you know, here's all the information you need to know on the giveaways. I will be doing a giveaway with Rafflecopter. So what you will see is a link in the info bar down below to the giveaway and then that link will take you to the different ways that you can enter the ways you can enter i'm keeping it super simple you guys you have to be a subscriber to my channel because this is a vlogmas giveaway so you have to be subscribed to my channel you can earn one entry for being a follower of mine on instagram and you can earn for going over and liking diva and the divine's facebook page that's it super simple and then you will also get an entry if you leave a comment 
on this video or whatever video the giveaway is happening on. The rules and regulations for all of the videos are going to be, or all the giveaways will be very, very similar, but for this one, you have to, you know, legally say it every time. You have to be 18 years or older to enter. If you are not, you must have parental permission to enter because I need your mailing address. The giveaway, this current giveaway is going to run until Thursday night, 11.59 p.m. So the 6th, 11.59 p.m. is when this giveaway is going to run until. And then at that point, I'm going to pick my random winner by Rafflecopter, and I will contact that person via email. So make sure when you sign up, I get your email address. And then you will have 48 hours from when I email you to respond back to me with the mailing address, or I will have to forfeit your win and give the winnings to somebody else. So make sure you're checking your email and your spam box just in case that's where I slide into. And this current giveaway is open internationally. So wherever you are, I will ship this little wellness bundle to you. So that's it. The giveaway is the wellness bundle, which contains the book, the habit tracker, the stickers and the markers, and the book Secrets of a Former Fat Girl. I have two of these complete prizes, so there will be two winners who will receive this bundle of goodies. So make sure you head to the link below, enter, add an extra comment down below saying whatever you want. Hi, talk about Vlogmas, talk about the prize, whatever you want. Just leave a comment down below and that's everything. That is everything. So that is the first giveaway of the Vlogmas giveaways. I'm not quite sure how many days they're going to end up being because I'm considering pairing them together to get them done sooner so I can get them done before I go on vacation. No promises. I'm pretty positive there will be people throughout the Vlogmas giveaways that will have to wait until I get back from my Florida trip to have me mail their stuff, but we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. So just have patience with me, guys. But this is the first set of prizes. Enter away. But this is the first set of prizes, so I hope you enjoy them. Don't forget to go ahead and check out the link down below. And that is everything for this lazy, lazy Sunday vlog. And rather than bog you down with more information, I'm just going to go, and I will see you tomorrow, Monday. Monday.